Welcome to Financial Buzz Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker here at the New York Stock Exchange bringing you a review of this week's stock market. Second quarter earnings continue to come in and it's shaping up good. About 75% of S&P 500 companies' results have exceeded analyst estimates for profits and 65% have exceeded sales projections. On Monday, markets recovered some of the previous week's losses on news that Portugal's central bank took control of Banco Espirito Santo, averting fears over another bank collapse. However, on Tuesday, the sell-off resumed after Polish officials warned that Russian troops restarted their troop buildup on the Ukraine border. Also on Tuesday, the Institute for Supply Management released its non-manufacturing index for July, and it increased to 58.7, up 4.8 percent, and a recovery high. In addition, factory orders for June increased 1.1 percent after declining 0.5 percent in May. On Thursday, tensions with Russia increased as President Putin retaliated against European and U.S. sanctions by limiting food imports from countries taking a stance against Russia. Jobless claims for the week ending August 2nd were down 14,000 to 289,000, and the four-week average is at a new recovery low of 293,500. On Friday, non-farm productivity for the second quarter was up 2.5 percent, stronger than expected, and unit labor costs were up 0.6 percent, less than expected. Market reaction was mixed with geopolitical concerns overshadowing economic news. Now let's take a look at some stocks. Walgreen Company shares tumbled towards the end of Tuesday's trading after it was announced the company will acquire the remaining 55% stake of UK drugstore chain Alliance Boots for an estimated $10.1 billion. Walgreen had initially acquired 45% of the company in 2012 for $6.7 billion. In a surprise move, Walgreen will maintain their operations in Deerfield, Illinois, and will not move to the UK for tax-cutting purposes. Sprint Corporation shares dropped dramatically at Wednesday's opening after the mobile phone carrier announced that it has dropped its attempt to buy T-Mobile U.S. after they failed to overcome regulatory objections. U.S. regulators currently want to keep the amount of major mobile phone companies at four instead of three. Sprint and T-Mobile are currently the third and fourth largest mobile phone carriers, respectively. Zulily Inc. shares dropped Thursday after the online retailer reported their stunning second quarter financials. The company reported an increase in net sales of 97% year-over-year to $285 million, while their active user base increased 86% to $4.1 million. Zulily investors loaded up on the stock prior to the release of the earnings report and then dumped shares after the earnings were released. Callaway Golf, a major golf club and ball manufacturer, watched its shares go up nearly 2% Thursday as Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson hit the fairways for the first round of the PGA Championship. Along with the hype from the championship, Callaway also announced a $50 million share buyback. This is Financial Buzz Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker, and I'll see you again next week.